as you look around the rolling hills of Pennsylvania, a beautiful sight to behold. You're in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes that can be very, very good. See, I'm panning around here. There is nothing. We turn a little bit to the left. And this is Nobles. I know there's a bunch of trees, a bunch of parked cars, but believe me, there is a park in there. We're going to walk in and we're going to take a nice big look at it. Before you get into the park, you can notice the friendly home kind of atmosphere, the little benches under the trees, heavy little picnics. Hi. This is a very beautiful, very friendly place. So relax, put your grill out. Cook up some burgers and walk into the park. It's the main crossover part to the park. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Got a couple of people just stopping the traffic and let you walk across the street. Once inside the park, you're struck by the smallness of it, the prettiness of it, the trees, the, the pretty little paths. A little bit like Westview. Let's go see if we can find some rides. But have we here? Something a little bit different you don't see in many parks today. A regular Ferris wheel. Not the giant sky wheel. Not the super duper double looper. It's just a regular old time fashioned Ferris wheel like you used to have in all the old parks. It's nice for the kids. We're in the kiddie park right now. It's a little boat ride. Just, you know, it kind of goes by itself. They're banging, banging and off the, the outer bank there. It kind of takes you around a little lagoon. You know, it goes under this bridge. And here, we have a little lower coaster. A little steel coaster for the kids. It doesn't go very far. Two rides. Have their version of the pirate ride called the Galleon. One of the newer rides in the park. Very nice ride. And over to our left, we were very, very impressed. It's called the Whipper, but what it is is a whip. Very impressed. It reminds you a little bit of old Westview. That thing you shooting around the corners there. A great ride. Found this path here. You, you just awed by the, the beautiful shady area. This, this park of more trees probably than all the other amusement parks we've been to put together. Just nice little benches to rest on. It's just beautiful. Every little area, like there, there's a ride and there's some benches. And there might be a, a like this, this here's a funnel cake stand. More benches, more trees. More people just standing around, just sitting down. It's, it's a very relaxed atmosphere. It's not like rushing around like we did at uh, New Jersey. They have their amusement arcades, just like any other park. Any other one's not quite as big. I'm not going to go in here. They have one. Oh, there's the park entrance right here. The sign says Nobles. No fancy brass bands, nothing. Just you walk right in. There's no emission charge. You just pay as you go on the rides. Just another merry-go-round, you think, huh? Not really. This one I know it's a little bit special. I'll show you why. Come up here. On your right, they're grabbing for the brass ring. When's the last time you saw somebody trying to grab the brass ring on a merry-go-round? Noble has one. Means believing. Part of the, uh, uh, the park is augmented by a stream, so you got to go these pretty little bridges that cross over the stream. The one we're going to go over is a cover bridge. It's down here. I'm going to show you. Yeah, this, these are leaves. These are trees. Hey, it's unbelievable how much shade, how many trees are in this park. But we're going to go over this bridge right here. It's a cover bridge. It's very nice. You can hear the merry-go-round. We just took a picture of the merry-go-round. Cross over this bridge and see what we can find out. 
They call this the rotor ride. I've seen too many of these. something. I've seen these in a long, long time. A flyer they call it. Wow. Brings back memories of Westview Park. Boy, look at them things. You can fly them by yourself. Great ride. on tickets. You buy a book of tickets and you ride. How many tickets it costs? That's what you pay. You keep getting tickets. Boy, I'm glad to see one of these. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. The sign says, Whirlwind, new for 93. One dollar to ride. What is the Whirlwind? There it is. Oh, that's just a steel. Coaster. Yes, this is a park at Coaster. A couple of them. This is a very fast ride. It doesn't take long. like any other park. Food stands, pierogies, 35 cents a piece. Wow. Peter of tots of fuck. Great food places here. When you sit down to eat food places to sit down are better than the, the food places themselves. It's a paratrooper ride, nothing special. Just the same as Kennywood has. But they do have quite a few rides. It would take you a while to ride all the rides they do have in this park. I hope I can get them all in front. Right? No, I'm not repeating myself. This is a tilt the world. They have a tilt the world. Tilt the world and an airplane ride. Wow, all in the same park. Maybe that's why I like it because it brings back the many memories of Westview. It's a beautiful little park. Well worth the trip out of the way. And yes, they have a log ride. And it's a wet log ride. Not quite as wet as the one at uh, Dorney. But it, it Got us wet to cool us off because it's, it's kind of the, the sunshine. It's a little warm, but bearable. Good log ride. The sit-down restaurant. They have their drinks. 75 cents for a small dollar for a large. That includes tax. Kingsburg, 225. Huh? Prices in here are fantastic. Spend a day in here eating. Oh, even shrimp, five bucks. Marie! Very nice boat. Over here is the big wooden coaster, the Phoenix. It's not a super big coaster, but it's a nice coaster. For a place that's in the middle of nowhere, we'll try to follow them up here. Phoenix. It's, it's rated pretty high by the coaster enthusiasts. Uh, I don't rate it quite as high as they do. It's a good ride. The back seat rides a little better than the front seat. It over makes a loop. But the nice thing about this, it reminds you of Westview because when it first starts out, it goes around in a dark tunnel, just like Westview did. Good ride. The Phoenix. It's a uh, little auto ride. 
looked at him and some guy coming out stopping. Looks like it takes you. See one there, it looks like it takes you through the roller coaster. That's where our upper is. Where it does? It's another one. See that? Oh boy. It's 50 cents. I'm taking like they're logs, made out of logs, cut out of logs or something. I yeah, you sit on a log bench, a log table. Very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful park. The sign says Haunted House, a terrifying adventure in darkness. Doesn't look very terrifying, does it? But it is. Woo! This is one nasty haunted house. That's the price is 80 cents to get in. And you are going to get scared in there. No doubt about it. Uh oh, my kids are sitting there getting hungry. Pizza number two. Did you call this pizza? No, that's not pizza. This is supposed to be the best park pizza in the whole country, according to our ace book. Now, they were right about the haunted house ride. And we're going to find out when we get that pizza. Well, we had the pizza, and uh, it can't be the best in the world. It filled us up. It refreshed, yeah. We wiped it out. Now off the ride. They even have a little teacup ride. Very little. It's only about five or six cars. Very compact. Teacup. The old mill, this is the place where you get ice cream, sundaes, etc. Right? Right alongside it. See the old mill they're running. Water running, very tranquil. Very beautiful. They, they worked out right in with the park there. We just had pizza, so that ice cream don't look too good right now. Looking through the whole park, all the trees, the tree line roads. Very, very peaceful. Very beautiful. One of the reasons we come back here. It's like having a park in the middle of North Park when North Park was North Park before all the buildings. The only little kiddie park. The ride. You, you can see I'm standing on the bridge. There's a little stream. The stream must run straight through the whole park. It's, it's really lovely. Some kind of clubhouse for the kids. And over to my left. Little kitty pumping car. Let's try to get a close up of that. Yeah, little kitty pumping car. Just having a good time. If they have anything as small in uh, any other park for, for small kids, they're a lot of fun. Start them out early. Even a baby whip ride in the park. Unusual. Little helicopter rides for the kids. Quite a few rides for the kids. Little car ride for the kids. Quite a few. Rides. Over to my left, you can see for the trees. A little space, but just a little place to go jump around. Spent 40 cents and just going and jump up and down. Kids are jumping up and down. Having a good time. Rocking and rolling. Get all that tension out of here. Little auto ride. For the kids, but there's a little kid driving. Very nice. Sure is. Look at that baby, huh? 
actually they have quite a few rides for the small kids. I go back and watch that whip running. That thing looks so cute. Jeffrey! Let me show you here. And over a little bit to the left is the merry-go-round. A little kitty merry-go-round. This kid is a bag of the baby whip. I love it. Wow. Full time wood and whip ride. Just for kids. The big whip ride was pretty nice. They're also small. Boy, having a good time. And again. Screaming our lungs out. There's just so much of this park. And it's just so spread out. Even though it's small. It's so beautiful. It reminds you of that frontier part of Cedar Point. Only the whole park's like this. No matter what little twist or turn you make, you wind up in a nice shady area of the park. And now I gotta find my pen. Close up again of these wooden tables and the chairs I have here. It's amazing. These are actually cut out of timber. And they're used for benches in some parts of the park. It's a kind of a rustic appeal. Table. Well, 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 looks like you did good, looks like you bought something. You bet a shirt for Marsha? Let's put that, well, let's see what that looks like, huh? Wow. The Phoenix. Nobles for Wow. All right. I have no idea who he is or what he's supposed to be, but I guess he's like the mascot of Nobles. All little kids seem like him. Yeah. Hey, uh, good to have All right, pal. Here's something you don't see at a park anymore. These rotor things, whatever the heck they I guess they're some kind of roller rotor things. Boy, boy. I don't think I'm ready to ride something like that. They can flip it up and down and around. I haven't seen them in a long time. I think Kenny would took them out two or three years ago. They still got them here. But there's a sign stay there. Rated best bumper cars in the USA. Well, we'll take a look. They have a uh, sort of an arena. Yeah. I think they've got a band getting ready to play. Take a little break. Listen to the music. Amongst the trees. That's hilarious. Over to the right, I went to the kitty airplanes or something. What a park. you got to be amazed by all the darn trees they have here. It's beautiful the way they kept them in. These are the old Lust bumper cars. You don't see these too often. Well, now, if you notice on the bottom of the car, on the rubber thing, there's a little metal strip. And what that means is when you bump into somebody, you're really going to feel it. And I'll tell you, we wrote this before, and you really do feel it when someone bumps into you. Love to make car tapping. Sums up nobles. Free parking, free entrance, free picnicking, free entertainment. Where else? Where else indeed? So it has a nice little wonderful surprise for you. When you get done riding them rides and you feel a little hot, all you gotta do is walk right across the street. I mean right across the street. Whoa! Look at the size of that pool. Let's try and get a close-up of it. Swimming pool at Nobles Pool. They claim this is the biggest swimming pool in the state. Now whether it's bigger than North Park, I don't know. It just might be. Because it's a little more square than North Park. And right in the middle they got a big giant rock. And they got the diving board here. And let me tell you something. That pool is looking better and better and better. What a way for it. It's just a regular. 
Turn and ride, and this is little bumps at Noble. So, like I said, the place is in the middle of nowhere. Who'd have thought? Well, you got a few more rides to take. And then we're going to have to get on our way. Sliding boards in the middle of the water, and everything else. Sure oh, do look good. This ride called the Mary Maker looks more like the Scrambler for the most parts. In fact, I want to go in here and focus this one. Right behind that, they have the all familiar balloon ride. But they do have a lot of rides here at this park. In fact, on our right, if we can a little bit more, like my family here, there's a train. There's a train ride. People are looking for the train. There's our guys. Like a little time. Wow, a mile and a half train ride. Wow. We didn't ride that thing. We don't have time, but boy, that would be something. I need to ride it now. Huh? We got to get on the Hershey. Got one more ride to take. Pick it up. This ride here, I've never seen in any other park. It's similar to the one at Dorney, but only that's that inside ride with the rubber boats and the rubber thing at the bottom. And they are bumping boats. It's pretty much It's supposed to, I guess. It's not all that big of an area. Similar to the Dorney ones, only this one's outside on the water. Outside on the water. And it will pop in here. The area's not all that big. It's very unique. It's was fun. Who's ready for another part? Right here. Ready for another one, man? Yeah. June 19th. Oh, it's on it. 2001. Knoebel. Yeah. The reason why we're here, we were last time we were here was 95 and something not a cloud in the sky. Today it's only 90 and not a cloud in the sky. And we come here to ride the twister. I'll show you what it is. You see the beautiful area, the, the little bridge you walk over. You can see the brook and everything. This, this is Knoebel. This Holiday World East. I guess you'd call it. What a beautiful setting. You see in the background there is the Twister, but I just want to show you. This in a way looks a little like Conneaut, the old beat up looking building and everything. But the pretty, pretty scenery and the pretty books and everything. But makes this park one of a kind. You can see how beautiful the scenery is. You can hear the coaster. All you do is turn left and go over to the little bridge and there's that big giant coaster. They have it hidden on the other side of the park. The coaster has like a double lift hill, and as you can see by this, there's nobody on it. There's people in the park, but there's nobody on the coaster. I think Barbara's going to set the record today. She thought she'd settle on a Raven, but I think she's going to settle on a Phoenix. Because it has a double lift hill. That's the main lift hill right here. It's a good ride. It's not a, a brutal ride like some of those uh, twisters can be, but we enjoyed it. Like I said, we'd rather ride the Phoenix, though. I don't know how much of this I can get from where I'm at. That is the twister. Round and around. It has a double helix in the middle of the run. Maybe I can get that thing. Where it goes and what it does, you know. I, it's in a bag or something. You can hear it. Come around there, yeah. Double helix here. In the middle of the ride, it's double helix. Then it has an air-conditioned tunnel, which is really super. You need it today. You can see there's nobody on it. What a day! I never dreamed we'd have a, a week like we did. And we did. But that in its essence, it's, it goes on a little bit more. 